Nothing is more frustrating than finding the perfect article for your research only to discover that you can't get to the full text. This short video will show you how to get what you need. We're going to do an example. I have run a sample search on the concept of compassion fatigue in one of our databases. You can see that there are some PDF icons, which means that the full text is right here. Hooray! There are also some icons that say, find it at ISU. This means that we should have the full text, at least somewhere. Sometimes it means that it's only in print or that it's in one of our other databases. Click on the icon and follow the links. So in this case, this particular article is located in our clinical key database, and all you need to do to get to the PDF is click on one of the links. So what happens when there's no PDF or Find It at ISU icon? These usually have a Request Through Interlibrary Loan link. This is really handy, and we'll come back to this in a second. But before I do that, I like to double check that the library really doesn't have access to the article I need. First, you can copy and paste the article title into ISU's Google Scholar link, or just paste it into Google in general. Sometimes a PDF has been posted, even if we don't have it. So I'm going to try to find number 11, Rethinking Compassion Fatigue, and see if Google Scholar has it. See, there is a PDF out there. Sometimes you get lucky. Another strategy is to go out to the library's main site and use our Journals by Title list. This will bring up everything that the library subscribes to. In this case, you're looking for the journal title, not the article title. So I'm going to look up the International Journal of Nursing Studies. I do this because sometimes even though we do have access to the article, it won't come up in Google Scholar or in one of our databases. This is just another way to be doubly sure that we don't have access to it. You also should do this before you place a request for the article through Interlibrary Loan. When you search in our Journals by Title database, it brings up all the journals we subscribe to. So in this case, it matches the one I'm looking for, but it also brought up some that were a close match. You can search within the publication, which is really handy. This is where you would copy and paste the article title to see if you could find it. All right, to get more information about the journal title, you just pull down the full text access, and you can see that we have this in several different sources. One database called CINAHL Complete. We only have it from 2012 to 2015, which would work if the article you need is somewhere in that date range. We also have it in the library catalog. That means that we have this journal or had this journal in print. If you are not based on the Pocatello campus, which is where most of our print journals are, you can request this as well. But it looks like the best bet if we want to try to find an article in this particular journal is to use the last link, which is Science Direct. It goes all the way back in full text to 1963 to present, so that's great. Let's look at another one, the International Journal of Speech and Language Pathology. Again, it pulls up anything that's a close match, including the one we're looking for, and we'll click on this plus sign and we'll see that there are a couple of sources where we can find articles from this journal, but there is a full text delay, 18 months in this case. That means that you can't get the full text of anything published within the last year and a half. If the article you want was published recently, you'll need to request it via interlibrary loan. Speaking of which, if you can't find the article in any of our databases, in Google Scholar, or by searching through our journals by title list, it's time to request the article from another library. Many of the articles have that convenient link right here to make it very easy. You just need to make sure you've signed up for our interlibrary loan service. Then all you'd have to do is log in and then bam, the needed information is included right here. It's magical. Just make sure you double check to make sure all the information is here. In this case, it doesn't have an end page number, so I'd want to add that, but all of this information was put in there automatically. It's lovely. Be forewarned, the interlibrary loan can take time. I've had articles arrive within hours of my request, while others have taken weeks. So try to get your request in as soon as possible. 